Welcome back, OCB family. Hey, I'm about to feed these dogs and clean these kennels. Like I told y'all, I want to give everything raw and uncut. So what y'all about to see is me feed these dogs. And um, I might show y'all a little bit of everything. But y'all gonna see some poop. Y'all gonna see a little bit of everything. So uh, I'm about to finish uh, setting up the food. And y'all gonna follow me as I take care of these dogs, man. I got everything loaded. We about to go back here to the back. I got the chicken, uh, uh, the beef fat, the raw eggs. Hey, man. It's that good stuff, man. That 30, 20 good friends. You don't got to spend $100 on dog food, man. It's all about genetics. Y'all about to see me feed these dogs and the regimen I do. So, hey, follow me to the back. Yes, these dogs do poop. Uh, they, just like humans, we eat what we eat must come out. But hey, we must take care of them, y'all, and clean them right. So, I, man, I use the uh, broom and I use the snow shovel. It works. Hey, it works easy for me. Some people might use other things, but this was worth it for me. Now, I got my food. I usually just sit up there. But that's the last thing I do is feed them. So I just go and unlock, unlock it. Uh, raw and uncut so uh you know she busted out but as you can see she's playing with her sister they do got the same dad shout out to ricky with van gogh van gogh is the father of uh dynasty and, and uh, mary k Fly. so hey and they're just playing no dog is being to be a breather hey man you, you must clean your dogs hey come here so, get big boy done up now i'm gonna go ahead and turn this water hose on i'm gonna spray it out all real good and uh we're gonna make sure they nice and clean man so, come on boy i let them out man under construction so it's good that he does that because it kind of keeps them foxes away man so he, he'll go mark his territory and do his thing man so that's what he's going to do and i'm going to continue to clean hey man y'all hey y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe hit that notification bell out of control bullies 931 hey second video man we doing and we just giving it to y'all raw and uncut a lot of breeders don't do this. Alright, y'all. About to spray them out. Spray these kennels clean. That's a 
Some nice sprayer from Rule King, man. I love that place. Got no spray on my Spray up all this poop. And uh, I got uh, I got the sanitizer, y'all, but I used it yesterday. I try not to uh, put it on the wood too much. I get the concept. It does take time. You gotta make sure you take your time cleaning these kennels and uh, making sure you get all this poop and stuff up off. Man. So uh, I'll get back with y'all and y'all will see how I feed them. All right, y'all. So now it's feeding time. As you can see, kennels clean. And uh, I'm gonna start, usually start with bone pressure. I'm gonna feed them uh, good friends, high energy. I feed, I feed them a different food. Look, you know what time it is. I feed them a different food from my females. They just do better for him, you know, so. So, like I said, the good friend. I got the chicken. I got some beef fat. Um, I usually don't feed them that, man. I'm getting them ready for the shows. So, this is, this is, this is how I kind of beef them up. Get them show ready, y'all. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I dying healthy gut, man. Good for these dogs, y'all. I like it a lot, but I only give it to him, man. The only one I give it to, I can see. You don't gotta use a lot. You don't gotta overdo it. Just enough. Then, uh, like, like I explained before, some of y'all that be following me, he was having a uh, seasonal allergy, so I do give him his seasonal allergy pills. And because he's so big, I gotta give him five of them. So. This little bottle comes with 120, and uh, they got like a they got like a pretty good smell to them. Dogs love it. I, get, I put some of that in there. That's the healthy gut. Um, this is my secret sauce. I can't show y'all that. But, um, I don't I don't give it to them year round. This is just when we going to uh, shows. You know I gotta make sure my boy's looking good. You know what I'm saying? So um, I can't give y'all everything. I can give you most of it. So I, I can't give y'all everything. All right, and uh, now I'm about to crack this egg. Hey y'all, this is this is a uh, this is a not from the store. A farm. This is not farm raised. This is backyard raised from my neighbor. My neighbor.
neighbor blessed me with these fresh eggs, so shout out to them. I'm just gonna crack it. Let that yolk get all in there, yes sir. Man, it's still dripping everywhere. It's, it's messy, y'all. And then we're gonna take all this and whoop, voila. Oh man, look, he already drooling, man. Look at that boy. Man, he already drooling. Give him that. Man, I ain't even grab my uh, Bully Max pill. So I'll just go back in and get that later on. But, um, man, that's going, that's, that's what he's going to eat right there. Like I said, it's getting cold outside. So I don't feed him like this all the time, y'all. This is just because we got the show, the Gucci of Badass Dog Show coming up in uh, December 16th. So you don't, I, I don't like my dogs to be all overweight. This is just going to be enough to get them right for the show. And, um, Y'all gonna see that boy, man, at the show. I'm telling y'all. Y'all gonna say, hey, going to the girls. As I told y'all, feed the girls differently. Um, the girls, they eat value pack, red bag, 20, uh, 24% protein, 20% fat. That's what I feed the girls. Um, still, got, still got a good amount of food. I'm not even gonna give her a full bowl. I'm hard. When they got a full bowl, I, I know how much they eat. Why she might not be finishing her, her bowl for the day? She uh, possibly could be pregnant, and she, she's around like the first. Uh, she probably, if she is pregnant, she would be around the first week and a half or two weeks. Which usually would explain why she ain't eat that much. Usually, when my females are in the first stages of the pregnancy, they they go through this little phase where they don't eat all their dogs. So that's a good sign. It ain't a bad sign. Though. Usually her bowl is in, which I'm surprised. Maybe, maybe I don't know. She just didn't have the food to eat. She all her food yesterday, so I'm only gonna have hers up. I don't fill it all the way up. These are pretty nice sized bowls. As you can see, man, she's a big girl. You don't have to overfeed your dogs to be big, y'all. You don't have to overfeed them, man. The right amount, trust me, the right amount gonna have them, have them looking right. And it's genetics. You can't feed genetics, man. I know a lot of a lot of um, people ask me what do I feed my dog? They want them, they want their dogs nice and big. You can't feed your neck, man. I'm telling y'all down. Now there's good food to beef your dog up. There's ways to beef your dog dog up. There's so many ways, y'all. But like I tell everybody, these dogs are big off genetics. I don't have to give I don't have to give him uh, chicken or beef. Man, he's naturally big. I bred him that way. Uh, I, I, that's how I bred him. To, uh, I knew he was going to be a big boy. He females. They just get kibble, y'all. I mean, some people feed raw. I have nothing against raw. If I, me, I like the kibble, man. Uh, kibble to do my dogs justice. Their fur look good. Everybody look good. Everybody's healthy. So. I stick with the kibble, man. All right, now I'm on to Dynasty. I literally fill this bowl up. If usually if their bowl is empty, I fill this up and put it in their bowl. So as you can see, this is not really a huge bowl. I just use this to carry all their food. That's going to hold all three of their food. Here. I move. Dynasty. A little anxious today, as you can see. Must be very hungry. Must be the nice weather. I don't know what it is. That concludes the feeding of the dogs. I do give Dynasty this uh, powder. Um, it's a little hormone hormone support just to take care of her her needs. <laughs> Just consistency, keeping them clean, keeping their water clean, keeping their bowls clean. And man, these dogs really take care of themselves. Um, you know, them out, make sure they get all the love in. And, you know, that's a big boy. And 
that's it, man. It's nothing special to it. What y'all have seen is how out of control bullies take care of their dogs, how we clean, how we feed them. It's nothing special. Man, we just wanted to bring, uh, show y'all this raw and uncut. A lot of breeders, man, you'll see wonderful pictures with wonderful backgrounds. Man, we like to be straightforward, man. What you see is what you get. I'm a firm believer. I, I want to know how is how's this breeder feeding his dogs? How is he cleaning his dogs? Are his, are his dogs in a clean environment? As you can see, clean environment, plenty of water, plenty of food. You don't see no dogs, ribs over here. All these dogs are big. Hundred, all of them 100 plus pounds, all of them. So and that, that ain't nothing to brag about. That's just me taking care of my dogs, man. It's all about, like I tell people all the time, if you want a big dog, TLC. That's all you gotta do. TLC goes a far way. And as y'all can see, man, these dogs are nice and healthy. So uh, that concludes our video. Y'all make sure y'all follow Out of Control Bullies. Hey, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And hey, we'll be back with more. Peace and love.